Hannibal Barca to interview him. Check it out. Here is Hannibal Barca! Thank you, everybody! Woo! What the fuck are you? Woo! Thanks for coming, Hannibal. Well, thank you for having me on the show. For those people who really don't know you, just tell us, who are you? Well, hello. My name is Hannibal Barca. I was the general of the Carthaginians in the Second Punic War. Um, we were practically an undefeated army, winning victory after victory. Um, besides the loss in Rome, obviously. Now, Hannibal, who are you related to? Do you have any cousins, brothers, sisters, parents? Well, actually, my father, Hamilcar Barca, was the leading, um, the leading general of the Carthaginians in the First Punic War. I had many sisters, and a um, brother, Margo, and a brother-in-law, a brother-in-law, Hashdrubal. Tell us about your brother-in-law, Hashdrubal. Well, Hashdrubal actually planned the journey to Italy in the Second Punic War. How did the loss of the First Punic War affect you? Well, in 241 BCE, we, um, had to, we agreed to make peace and leave, and leave the island. Um, Carthage was forced to pay war reparations, and uh, I was very unhappy, yes, as I hated Rome. How did you feel about Rome and their strategies in the First Punic War? Well, in the First Punic War, the Romans were, um, they felt threatened by us because of Carthaginian rule of Sicily. Um, they, their strategy is okay. Okay, truthfully, their strategy is very good. Because they're, you see, they were all about the army. No navy, no navy. We were navy and army, yes. Not as good as army, but very good navy, yes. And it should have been a battle on sea, but they made it a battle on land. Well, um, yes, we did have a better navy. Um, the Romans did not care about navy, as we said before. But truthfully, Rome had pulled ahead of Carthage, both in manpower and in technology. They had um, improvements on their battleships, and truthfully, they outnumbered our ships. Therefore, we were forced to cross by the Alps. What was your plan to defeat Rome? Well, first, we made our objective to detach as many allies as we could from the Roman side to our own. Um, we had sufficient success in this, in this, to keep going in Italy for about a decade and a half. And, um, but unfortunately, the most important ally stayed with Rome. What was your ultimate goal? for preparation in the war? Well, our ultimate goal for preparation was to get enough of Rome's neighbors to turn against Rome, be a final victory before the um, gates of Rome would force the mighty Rome to submission. Um, I had devoted the next years of my life to that, to that goal. Um, ranging up and down Italy in search of frustrated um, allies. Did you have to face any obstacles during your journey to Rome? Well, I faced many obstacles. Many. Um, some people say it was outrageous, but courageous decision to cross the money else. Um, I had my invasion force. We amassed an army of about 60,000 in Spain, and we, um, Set across Gaul. Um, we gained troops along the way and we lost a lot. We lost a lot. We also gained and lost equipment. 
such as um, food, water, supplies, armor, and weapons. And I would say the biggest obstacle was the weather. It was very cold crossing the river and freezing crossing the Alps. But you know, it would have been worth it if we had won. It would have been, but it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. You obviously lost the Second Point of War. What did you do after that? <clears throat> Well, sometime after the end of the Second Punic War, I left North Africa for Asia Minor. There I um, helped Antutius III of Syria fight Rome at the Battle of Magnesia. Um, I had surrender. I had to surrender, but I flee. I flee to Bithynia. Hannibal, you were often regarded as the greatest military tactician and strategist of European history. How does it feel to be called? You? It really is an honor. Um, I was recognized as one of the greatest generals of antiquity, and. Um, it's really an honor because I was up there with Alexander the Great and Julius Caesar. It really was an honor. Hannibal, I hear that you are trying to commit suicide. Why do such a thing? Um, well, obviously I did not die at the end of second uh, at the end of the Second Punic War when I lost the war with Rome. Um I tried to commit suicide. I'm trying to commit suicide by um, ingesting poison um, because I'm in danger of being extradited to Rome. I hope you had a splendid time. Salutations. Shuffling.